Hey, it's time to spice up the kitchen with some new and shiny hardware. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Well, it's time to add a little bling to the kitchen in the way of knobs and pulls for all of these cabinets and drawers. You know, it's really important to get the right style for your kitchen if you're reworking one. And it's a great way if you're doing a little makeover in the kitchen, add a little paint, change out the knobs, and give it a new look without costing a lot of money. Now, speaking of money, I wanted to go with something here that was affordable, but gave us the look that we wanted. Now, there's a lot of different types of knob styles you can choose from. There's something out there for every single style, from rustic cabins to a Renaissance kitchen. But for us here, well, this is a little farmhouse chic project, so we wanna be consistent with sort of the feel and the ethos of this place. These cabinets we found at the Habitat for Humanity store. These are all salvage cabinets below that we got for a very good price. And now we're trying to dress them all up. And what I wanna do is use a really classic pull and one of the tips that you always want to follow is try to match the metals in the kitchen. For instance, here, we're going with nickel or zinc. Look at the ceiling, we have the zinc ceiling. If you look over here, you can see that the metals match. We're going for a highly polished chrome. And what this will do is it will resonate through this entire room and give it a sense of harmony with all of this matching. Now, I made a mistake when I started figuring out what size pools we wanted. I went to number one to choose the style I wanted. When I found the style I wanted, I thought that what would work best here would be a four inch pool. And you can see I've placed it in this drawer. This is before I'd actually found the cabinets. This is a three inch pool. And don't you think the three inch is gonna be a better size for this? I do. So now what I'm gonna do is return these four inch for the three inch. So the proportions of the pulls and the knobs you use are important. Now the knobs here, you can see they come individually wrapped with two screws in case you lose one. I'm notorious for doing that. You just open them up and that is a beautiful, simple, highly polished nickel pull. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that where we mount them, and I'm thinking that what I wanna do here is keep it between two and a half and four and a half inches in this space. So we'll match them here and I'll have another one right here at the same orientation on this style of the cabinet. And see, I think this metal is gonna look really great with our appliances because they're all stainless steel. And just look how good it looks against our subway tile back here. If you're enjoying these updates on the house, check in regularly. We're just about to finish up, but there's more to see. Tell a friend about them and subscribe to eHow Home. Now I need to get these others back in a box and take them back to number one and get the three inch.